Hello, and welcome back. My name is Sandcrawler, or Yithmavig, and we're playing some more Trove. So, we're, we are going to go run and do this uh, challenge, that's what they are. I don't really like challenges in the current state, but I don't want to talk too much about that, because they're changing next week, so it's kind of a moot point. So, we're going to switch over to the Dracolite. And we'll open our chaos chest real quick, mushrooms, shadow keys, and radiant shards. And then into U5 we go. Neon City. Okay, there's one right. Let's try a rally blade. Yeah, it just teleported us out too. What I don't like about challenges is that it's basically just a big zerg of people. And if you don't have enough people follow you, then you can't really do it very fast just because of how many points you need to get so I could go do this first challenge to get 10 points that's easy to do just play the bonus class in pretty much any setting but see how they're all spamming for invites that's because they want to be invited to a big group so that they can get the 100 point finished what you can't do in 15 minutes anyways. I forgot how to play this class. So it's a balance of getting the right amount of players, but more often than not, you have way too many. Okay, so I guess we'll go... Looks like we're going this way. Out of jumps. I think I'm out of jumps anyways. Could just be lag. I got a new keyboard and so it's kind of hurting my hand to play this game or any game right now on it. And it's not even a mechanical keyboard. I stayed away from mechanical just because they're known to be kind of loud. But I'm still getting used to where the keys are on this one. It's the Logitech G105. I like it for the most part. I'm not sold on the macro keys yet, mostly because what do I need macro keys in Trove 4? I don't. Ow. Now we try the rally blade. I'm just going to try and do the 41. I won't try for the 100 point. Oh, 
the biggest thing that's really weird with this keyboard is uh, that the shift key is just like in a weird spot. Like it just contins continues out too far. And so when I try and hit the Z button half the time, I hit the shift button instead. And then I don't like that the macro keys line up with the escape key. So in my opinion, escape should always be the far farthest to the corner. Is this one done? Yeah. Probably the biggest thing is that it doesn't have a wrist rest right now. So it doesn't come with one, but which doesn't make any sense to me. I, I wish this guy had more jumps. Not that this is not a class that you need jumps on. I just go jump crazy. This is actually, it's one of the, I think it's the second class I got to level 20, but it's probably one of my least favorites. Yeah, we're just gonna, oh, we could do it though. With 10 minutes, we can make it to 100. Let's try for it. We're in a big enough biome, I think. As long as we keep enough people. Enough contributing people, I should say. So what tends to happen is that half of the people stand outside of the dungeon and let five people go in and kill it. Which goes back to the Zerg I was talking about. Let me go out this way. So then I should be able to make it to the top of this one, which is where this boss hides out. I'd rather play my Boom Ranger. We probably won't even make this one. It's hard to say though. Since I came to this biome late, it kind of depends on where everybody else was at. Do I have, I have three bombs, so it's not even nearly enough.
These little tower things are where the bosses are hidden. The main boss is in that big one. like one of them below us. Or this was one of them. So the big one's somewhere else. I hate this dungeon. That's why if it was me, I would have skipped this one. Just because why do you want to be lost in a stupid large dungeon? It does have three stars in it, basically, so it'll give you three sets of points, however many points you get. Oh, well, that's probably it. Because half the people left after we found the one. There are not nearly enough people here where it teleported me to the one lone guy. Yeah, there's no point. We'll just teleport back. I don't have much fun with those. I don't really. I basically do it once a day so I can get this ancient dragon soul. Because I bet you when we open these, I won't get a single thing of any value. Exactly like that. I got eyes and a little bit of flux. So basically the only dragon soul... I think I've gotten one out of those boxes. And so the only dragon soul, all the dragon souls that I have for the ancient dragon are from just doing the daily one. And to get that one, you just have to complete the 10 point one or any one really. So basically I could go to novice difficulty and go to the right biome and get all my points and get my dragon soul since that's the only one I get all right, let's deconstruct some loot next week they're gonna be changing the challenges and the biggest change is that those loot boxes are not going to have flux in them anymore. And so, and they're also increasing the chances slightly of getting a dragon soul. So for the most part, you're just going to be getting eyes. But next week we're also getting a new class. Um... I don't even remember his name. It was a raccoon thing.
Spear. It, he uses a spear. So that's basically the most interesting thing about him. His kit looks pretty fun, though. Whereas, like, um... Some of their older kits, they need to rework them. Especially, like, the knight class. I just don't think the knight has a kit that works very well for them. kind of hurt for a moment. I'm kind of looking for traders and kind of just doing whatever dungeons are easy right now. Kind of looking for recipe dungeons, too. They're also adding, what is it called? Shadow towers. And I have no idea what they are because I don't get to watch a live stream. Okay, would you stop? Let's see if we got anything. Nope. Of course not. I've never gotten anything out of those either. Okay, I don't need dragonfly recipes. Mostly I need Neon City. Kandoria is done. Dragonfire is done. I need Feywilds, Cursed Vale. Permafrost and Desert Frontier are done, and I need Medieval Highlands. And that's some lag. And I don't need another Jelly Knight. So Shadow Towers are going to kind of replace challenges in the sense of flux farming. Is what I've heard anyway. Don't need raptor. You can fly a hundred, it's like 200 blocks away, and the trader will rotate his wares. So let's see if that was far enough away. Probably not. No, I know that's not far enough away. You have to be uh, pretty much to where the fog is covering it. Let's see what it has now. Probably sales, which I'm not to the point of buying. There's a couple different allies that I need. I need Cubesly and the Butterfly. Oh, and the Robot. And now he has another mount that I can't afford. I've been using most of my glim on buying, on trying for those allies. As you can see, I have all of them except Chronomancer, Shield Sir, and the uh, Solar Powered. Don't need any of those with what limited flux I have right now. I spent like 10,000 on pearls the other day. I 
And then I upgraded a bunch of equipment with those pearls. I guess we're just not going to get lucky. This is kind of what I do when I'm bored. I know. It's very exciting to hunt for recipe dungeons. Between recipe dungeons and traders, ship traders. What I should do is go level up some of the other classes, but... Maybe later. It is 50% XP week this whole week, so. Yeah. I should probably be leveling up a different class. But anyways, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.